Knowing, knowing what I know and knowing Jacques and knowing that he was a good person, it seems completely senseless and ridiculous that something like this would even happen to him. We talked to numerous co-workers, um, friends of his, and he just had no enemies and lived a pretty simple life. He was just a good person um, who evidently was in the wrong place at the wrong time. In August of 2015, uh, Jack Gaither, an Heroico citizen, was actually riding his bicycle in the area of um, Edgefield Street. We received calls for shots fired around 4 o'clock in the morning. Officers responded to that area and found Mr. Gaither suffering multiple gunshot wounds. They performed CPR, or life-saving measures. He was eventually transported to MCV, um, where he succumbed to his injuries around 8.15, 8.20 that morning. Mr. Gaither had a wound to his head and he had a wound to his torso. The wound to his head was fatal. We believe there was multiple shots fired, not just the two. We did recover some shell casings from the scene. There was a round that was actually recovered from a vehicle tire, we believe came from the likely firearm used to shoot and kill Mr. Gaither. Uh, my first impressions of the scene itself and just through the time of the day and where Mr. Gaither was coming from and where he was going to, that it was likely a crime of opportunity, likely a um, robbery attempt. Um, maybe Mr. Gaither refused their initial demands or they just came upon him at the wrong place at the wrong time, and he was within a half a mile of his home, so he's really close to home. So we've always kind of felt like whoever was responsible knew the area, had a reason to be in that area, because it's a very late hour to be out riding around. Mr. Gaither really had no known enemies. Um, he was reasonably new to the area. He's a New York native. Um, he had no family in the area. He was staying with some friends on Stone Lane, which is just down the street from the actual homicide scene. Um, we talked to numerous co-workers, um, friends of his, and he just lived a pretty simple life. He was 45 years old at the time of his death. He was a college graduate. Um, he was working full time. He was just a good person um, who evidently was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Jock was a truly genuine, honest, caring person. And the type of guy that was always smiling, always wanted to make everyone else smile. He was the guy that walked in and he clapped and said, let's go to guys, let's go team, and he kind of pumped everyone up, a cheerleader, so to speak, and we all relied on him a lot for that, and when it wasn't there, and then especially knowing what had happened to him, it was just a very, very deep hole. It was Monday morning, and I got a phone call, it was a detective with Henrico Police Department and they were asking me for any type of next of kin or emergency contact information for Jock. And so then, you know, the balls start rolling in your head and you're like, what's going on? And you know, later on that day we finally got a hold of someone at MCV that let us know that he had passed away. And uh following day we we all met in the morning and did a morning huddle and and we let everyone know that, that what had happened with Jock and you know all the staff at the stores started crying. And we, we, we all worked with our heads down for that entire week. It was a very somber environment. Unfortunately, we didn't know anyone in his, in his life. And I would say that more than anything, we were his family. We ended up being able to set up a, a service for Jacques at a local funeral home here. Everyone that came was from either Jason's Deli, Jason Deli Corporate, or customers. And we had a very great turnout with that. Mr. Gaither was actually traveling home from a, um, a friend's house not too far from here, traveling this direction down to Edgefield where he's probably approached by somebody in a vehicle, uh, possibly a robbery attempt. We have broken glass to a vehicle indicating there was probably somebody that maybe shot their own window out or there was damage to the window as a result of the shooting. 
It doesn't appear that Mr. Gaither was any sort of confrontation with anyone. He was most likely riding his bike. Maybe somebody told him to stop, get off the bike, or you know, give me whatever you have, and he maybe ignored that command. Um, and maybe out of frustration, somebody decided to go ahead and shoot. It didn't appear that he was in any sort of physical altercation with anyone whatsoever. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Matt. You think we could pull the evidence for the Jack Gaither homicide when you get a chance? Sure. Cool. Appreciate it. Regarding physical evidence in the case, there's not a lot. We do have some evidence in this case that could potentially have a lot of value if we get some help from the public. Um, around the time of the August 15, 2015, um, if you know someone that actually had um, a car repair to a window, probably a, a car window on the side, not a windshield, um, we'd be interested in something like that. Detective Ross, sir. Okay, give me one second, let me get a pen. There are people that still I run into that ask about Jack's case, um, whether it's been solved or not, or where it stands, and unfortunately, I'm not able to tell them anything really positive about the case. At this point, it really is a cold case, and until we get some public help here, um, it's probably gonna remain unsolved. Knowing that Jack doesn't have any family, and, and knowing that we were his family, all of us that knew him and from the customers to employees, we all would love to have some knowledge of what happened. We would love to know who did it. We would love to know any type of information and finally get some closure and for all of us to be able to, to put that one away, it'd be nice. It's possible that somebody's talked about this. It's possible that young people are involved and they may have talked to other young people about it and we feel like somebody out there knows something about this case. If you know something or you want to make an honest tip about something um, that you know that someone did, we really appreciate any help. If we can just get one lead to point us in the right direction with the physical evidence that we have, we think the case potentially has the ability to be solved.